Tightening scrutiny on residency permits, the European Commission has urged EU governments to suspend the sale of visas to Russians and Belarusians. The scheme particularly in focus here is the European Union's golden passport schemes. Several EU countries run golden visa schemes and have had golden passport programs. A golden visa is a citizenship by investment or residency by investment program. It is directed at wealthy foreign nationals who want to acquire residency in a certain country by either investing a substantial amount of money or by purchasing a property. Since the start of the Russian aggression, the EU has blacklisted nearly 700 top politicians, businessmen and military staff accused of supporting the Kremlin. The Commission has now urged an immediate end to existing national programs for the sale of passports. Brussels also asked governments to check whether sanctioned people were holding a golden passport or visa they had issued. The European Commission said some Russians or Belarusian nationals who are subject to sanctions or are significantly supporting the war in Ukraine might have acquired EU citizenship or privileged access to the EU, including travel freely in the Schengen area under these schemes. The Commission added that nations should immediately withdraw such residence permits. The move comes amid concerns that people hit by European Union sanctions may be the holders of EU golden visas or passports. The move follows the European Parliament's push to shrink and regulate the multi-billion euro citizenship and visa industry. According to the European Parliament, at least 130,000 people obtained a golden passport or visa between 2011 and 2019. The EU has long considered it a security risk. The scheme is suspected of facilitating corruption and money laundering. That's why the Commission and other member states have long deplored the controversial practice. Currently, only Malta, Cyprus and Bulgaria have such schemes. They have all committed to ending them. Last month, Malta said it would suspend granting the passports to Russians and Belarusians. Bulgaria's parliament recently voted to end its program. Russia, on the other hand, is preparing retaliatory visa measures. Russian Foreign Minister has been reported saying that the country would restrict entry for citizens from unfriendly countries. According to Lavrov, a draft decree on retaliatory visa measures is being developed in Russia. After the West piled unprecedented sanctions on Moscow, Russia expanded the list of what it calls unfriendly countries. They now include the United States, Australia, Canada, Britain, New Zealand, Japan, South Korea, all EU member states and several others. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.